Juba says it's ready to mediate between the demonstrators and government in the Sudan. South Sudan's government says dialogue is the most viable option for resolving the disagreement in Khartoum. South Sudan's peace deal is already signed. We are in the process of implementation of the agreement. It doesn't stop us from finding peace for other sisterly countries. We are ready to help Sudan because we want to have peace in the entire East Africa or Igad region. Juba is also struggling to tackle its own economic challenges. The country depends on oil for financing more than 98% of its budget, but production in some oil fields remained halted due to the war. Revenue from oil has reduced, inflation is high, with prices of basic goods rising beyond the reach of many. However, President Kiir's government says it will work closely with Sudan so that the oil money benefits both countries. If we have resources and we are blessed by God Almighty to have resources as Sudan and South Sudan, why don't we work together so that we can use them together for the benefit of our people? South Sudan's oil passes through Port Sudan, then to the international market. Juba pays Khartoum transit fees. Relations between South Sudan and Sudan have been improving since Khartoum brokered a peace deal signed in 2018. Many of Juba's opposition groups reside in Khartoum, and some experts say political instability in Sudan could derail implementation of the South Sudan's peace deal. There are concerns a political crisis in Sudan may see Khartoum lose the leverage it has with South Sudan's groups opposed to the current peace deal. Patrick Koyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.